jujubes. Yeah. Um, I don't have any plans to go out and do anything today. So I just thought maybe we could have a rainy day in. I thought it was raining, but right now it's not raining. So I guess like a cloudy day in. First order of the day is to give my cat, Tappy, some breakfast. Breakfast time, breakfast time, breakfast time, breakfast time. I think I'll give her like a Frisky's wet food thingy. Mm. We had her on a diet to, of just duck protein to see if that would help with her over grooming and we've already tried the diet for a really long time and don't think it's helping so I'm going to give her her regular wet food. I have these like press on nails so I can't really like lift this thing so I have to use a fork. The press on nails that you just like glue on yourself they're really helpful to prevent you from like damaging your skin too much if you scratch your skin because I have rashes and stuff that are itchy sometimes so I really can't scratch them. That's why I started wearing these nails so that I wouldn't damage because they're like plastic so they don't damage your skin as much as like your natural real nails do. Ooh, appetizing, right, Teppy? Whoa, whoa, there's little pieces of corn in here. Whoa, whoa, exciting stuff. Yas, yas, yas. Slimy. Okay, so the next order of the day is I'm gonna soak some beans. Oh, dang it. I think we don't have any more black beans. Black beans are the ones I wanted to soak, but since we don't have that, I will do pinto beans. And um, the reason is, is because later I wanna kinda make nachos, and I like nachos with beans, usually black beans. I've never actually had nachos with pinto beans, but hopefully it's good. And also, I don't have any tortilla chips. So, it's gonna be an experiment. I'm gonna try using <laughs> rice crackers. I know it sounds a little uh, wacky doodle, but I'm gonna see and see if it's good. We have like literally, okay, in this cover, let's see. Um, we have like six packs of sesame seed rice crackers, so that's a lot because my mom bought them all maybe they <laughs> maybe they were on sale or something so i'm gonna try that out anywho i'm gonna soak these i'm trying to use hair rollers as you can tell and i'm still trying to workshop the method that i like best like do i like putting them in my hair when it's still a little damp and then letting it dry into that shape I think that's probably the way I like the best because I don't really like to use too much heat on my hair. So I don't really want to, you know, like use a hair dryer to heat it up. I know like when you heat it up, obviously it helps to maintain the curl better. Trying to avoid too much heat. I just got a new hair iron, like hair curler, uh, curling iron. So that's like another thing that's heat. So I don't want to like add another heat thing. I feel like the whole point of using hair rollers is to not use heat. So I feel... Anyway, <laughs> it's funny. I put this in like at like 5 a.m. I just like woke up suddenly at 5 a.m. today and then I put this in. It's kind of funny. <laughs> I want to wear these like contact lenses that are brown, but I feel like there's like almost no difference between that and my real eyes so I'm gonna use this vlog footage to also determine if that if those contacts actually make a difference it's called I teen Choco Brown from Olens I will put them in soon and then I'll come back right here I'm wearing eyelid tape right now too but anyway I'll come back right here and I'll be like okay do my eyes look different do they look enlarged because right now I don't have contacts in 
and then I'll come back. You know, probably take this out actually. Let's take this out right now. Let's see if it did anything. Probably not. My hair is like, oh, well, it made like a bounce over here. <laughs> I guess it's probably gonna go down in like one second, but you know, I'm just experimenting, so it doesn't really. And I don't need to be anywhere today, so. Hmm, interesting. Also, I'll show you this other thing. My stepmom and my dad gave me this little baggie with a set, a matching set inside. So it's like a bra that matches a skirt. It's probably just like some clothes that my stepsister didn't want. <laughs> this one, I guess. But yeah, let's see. I might try this on for the first time today and see what what exactly okay so it's kind of like oh it has these like garter thingies that is salacious it's kind of like a corset or like a <laughs> should i try this on today oh maybe you stick this thing you buckle this these straps to onto the skirt so how does the skirt look what is going on here what why is the skirt so huge? I don't know if this fits. Wait, what? Oh, maybe this side. Oh, this side is the top, I think. Okay, so it will fit, I think. Okay, so it's just a regular skirt. So maybe you attach that, those bottoms, to this. Actually, it might not be too revealing. Whatever. I'll probably try it on, and then if it looks super bad, then I won't show it, obviously. I don't think it'll look actually that bad. I dropped my camera, I think, a few times. And now, my poor little solar camera. I named you Solar. You have like this giant fleck over there in like the center. <laughs> I guess you can't see it in the film, like in the actual footage, but like I can see a giant white dot. It looks pretty big to me, actually. Like right here. I guess you can't see it though. So I guess that's good. That's what matters, right? Well, um, yeah, I have a pile of clothes there. <laughs> I'm like run out of like closet space for all the clothes that I have. So some of the ones that I don't know how to put away are just like there. <laughs> um, actually, I think I can put away this. Wait, did I already wash this? I should probably just wash all these clothes anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna go put on those contacts, then I'll come back to this spot, and we will see if my eyes look different at all. Okay, see, look, this outfit just kind of looks to me like something that people would wear on Halloween or something, you know? It's actually not really, you know, I, did, I think those little straps at the bottom are for like attaching to your socks or something, but I'm not going to wear socks today, so I just left them. Anyhow, I put um, one of the contacts in, so I put it in my left eye. I think it doesn't really change the color of your eye too much, but I think it does make your eye a little bit bigger. See, this is the one that doesn't have the contact in. I think this is like bigger a little bit. Anyway, I will look back on this when I'm editing and see what it actually... I'll go put the right one in now. Okay, both of the contacts are in now. And it's very, very natural on me. Anyway, I watched so many Douyin's of people teaching you how to use fake lower eyelashes. So I'm gonna attempt that today. So I'm in my makeup chair right now. When I'm done with my makeup, I will see you. Hopefully, I'm successful. Wish me luck. Okay, that took a really, really long time. But this is the finished look. You can kind of see. Um, those are not my real eyelashes down here. I don't know. I still need a lot of practice. But this is the... Uh, fake eyelash look I put like fake individual lashes up on top so you can see this is what they look like does it look natural? I don't know
These were the ones I used on my upper eyelashes, and these are the ones I used on the lower eyelashes. Those girls on Doing make it look really easy, but it's not. No, no. And I think I need like a different kind of tweezers to put the eyelashes on. But it's still not bad, I think. I think it's right. <laughs> it's alright. I mean, this is definitely like a unique outfit. <laughs> kind of like a ballerina or like, you know, like the black swan in Swan Lake. I think there's a black swan, isn't there? In Swan Lake, right? I feel like this is similar. It is actually quite sunny outside. So I don't know, should it be like a sunny day in? Should today be a sunny day in or should I just go outside because maybe I'll go outside. Tappy, let's go outside on a walk, okay? Okay, Tappy, you wanna go outside on a walk? Wanna go outside on a walk? Maybe I'll take like a lookbook of this outfit. So I came here to take some pictures, but now my battery is dying. So I have to go back. But um, I guess hopefully the photos that I did take are okay. Look at that expectant face. Tappy, look at that expectant face. You're so cute. I love you. Yes. Song hey. Wait, how do I do that heart thing? Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, Tap, that was cute. Thank you. Thank you for the kiss. <laughs> oh yeah, I should have tried this on my makeup today. I forgot to try it. I bought this to use, you know, next time I have an audition. My face is always really shiny in the ring light lighting, so I got this. I don't know if it's actually going to mattify me. I guess, I guess I could try it right now, actually. Let's try it together. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Tappy really, really wants pets right now. I don't know how to, like, put the... Because my tripod is all the way over there, and if I get off this couch, Tappy's going to leave me. And I don't want Tappy to leave me, because, <laughs> you know, she is cute. Right? You are cute. I don't want you to leave me, so I'm not going to get the tripod. So we're just going to deal with this view, this perspective, this POV. And let's try out the L. Sheer, what do you think about this, Tappy? Elf HD powder? I don't know why it's called HD powder. I guess it makes your face more high definition. I don't know. Does that even make sense? I'm really bad at opening these things, so I'm probably just going to rip the whole thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. See? There we go. Oh, wait. Now I'm like, oh, it says cruelty-free and vegan on the back. Woo! Um, okay. Tabby, what do you think about this? Yeah. I think Tappy wants to eat lunch. Like, what time is it already? It took me literally so, 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 it's 12.38 p.m. It took me literally so, so, so long to put on all those individual lashes. So I'm excited for my little rice cracker nachos later. I hope that they're good. I hope that they're good. We're gonna go cook that later, or I'm going to. You're just gonna, you know, not participate. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding, Jujubes. You're participating. You're watching. So that is an action. Anyway, okay. Ugh. How do I get this thing out? <laughs> okay, whoa. Oh, it was like a little bit loose. I might have just spilled all that, but you know, the lid was loose. But, oh, okay. Peel off and turn the dial. What? Um, how do you, what, 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 what? BRB, let me, technical difficulties. Okay, so as always, I definitely did something wrong here. Um, the powder's like everywhere inside of this thing, I think. But anyway, I got this brushy brush. And um, yeah, the powder's like literally everywhere. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? 
so... <laughs> um... No! <laughs> I don't know how to... I'm... I'm handicapped at this. What is going on? Okay, I guess this area is like... This area, like... Above my eyebrows is pretty shiny usually. This area, like my eye bags, are usually pretty shiny. Do I look more matte now? Why do I feel like my face just looks more white? Is this supposed to be- it says sheer, it's not supposed to give color or pigment, right? Why do I look like terribly ghostly pale? Like look, wait. I don't know. I'm trying to compare my arm shade to my face shade. I'm so confused. Okay, so here in this light, I don't look so pale. Um, I don't have a verdict on that powder. I think I'll just find out like when I do an audition. Like usually this ring light, you know, makes me super shiny looking. Like it's still kind of, I guess it's a little matter. Oh, you can still see some shine. Why is this powder literally getting everywhere? Is this how you apply powders though? I think it's not as shiny. I think it kind of works. Okay, it kind of works. We will make food now. Okay, so since I haven't had food yet, I will eat a plum. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm, it's not right. <laughs> it's a little sour. But I have to commit, you know. I already took a bite. I'm gonna drain those beans that I was soaking. Cook them in the instant pot. While that's cooking, I'm gonna put together the crackers. I'm gonna do vegan cheese, black olives. I think that's it. And then wait for the beans to be done. Add the beans, then bake them, because that's how you make nachos when you do it with tortilla chips i've never baked sesame seed rice crackers before but today we are trying things <laughs> and i'm gonna chop this into tiny pieces it's frozen red onion um because i'm gonna put it to the guacamole into the guacamole and I like it to be really 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 small pieces because I don't really like raw onion but if it's really small pieces it's good So for the guac, unfortunately I don't have any lemon juice, so I'm going to use vinegar and um, black pepper and I'll add tomatoes to it too because normally you eat nachos with salsa, right? So, I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted by like the fish in Joyce's fish tank. Did I tell you? Joyce got a fish tank recently. Look at that shrimp. That tiny shrimp, or it's actually very large to me. I mean, it looks very large. But that shrimp is Sakura. Um, yeah. Fishes. Fishies. There's three fish in there. <laughs> so what was I saying? Um, black pepper vinegar and tomatoes 
my dad gave me also these like tomatoes that they grew they grew them themselves so they're like these tiny little tomatoes and i will add that also to the guacamole because normally you eat nachos with salsa but i don't have any salsa so I'm the guac is gonna be the salsa and then i also have sour cream you eat nachos with sour cream too right so i have tofu sour cream which is really good it's like a sour cream i guess made out of tofu i assume <laughs> I can't find the masher anywhere, so I guess I'll mash it with a fork. I think maybe I'll add hemp hearts and flaxseed to the guacamole too. I'm basically, I always add like hemp hearts and flaxseed for like onto everything almost. Okay, so it looks like this and the oven is preheating and then i'll put it in okay so the guac the sour cream and i just took this out of the oven i added some kale like frozen kale before i put it in the oven and it smells pretty good i'm excited to dig in okay maybe i'll put my hair up in a bun or something because I hate long hair is just kind of difficult, you know. You have to always put it back somehow. <laughs> no, I know it looks bad, guys. It looks bad. Let me try to fix it again. I guess this will do. I'm just gonna sit on this pillow on the floor because. Yeah. I guess I could also eat at the dining table. I don't know, I just never do that. <laughs> it is so dark. Uh, maybe I'll be able to... It's so dark. I don't know, maybe I'll be able to fix this in the editing process. But now I really look kind of like a ballerina, right? Okay. So, let's give this a shot. Wait, I should wash my hands. Sesame seed, rice cracker, nachos. Let's just try it without any guacamole or um, sour cream first. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is as good as nachos. Guys, I made a new invention. Mmm. Oh yeah, this is really good. I'm just gonna, you know, use utensils for the guacamole and the sour cream because I don't have time. I'm too lazy, actually, to put it onto and balance it onto the chip, you know? Or what is this called, cracker? I mean, I guess I could. Let's see. Gambe. Um, that means cheers in Mandarin, <laughs> but that's, you know, when you're drinking beer or something and then you like hold the cup to someone when you're like, cheers. It's really good. <laughs> Go away, ball. It's really, really, really good. I feel like there's something like a piece of dust on my nose or something.
Wow. So, 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 so good. This is like a really good meal. I've been really lazy to cook these days, so this is like the first time I cooked something in a long while. Like I just had, you know, those like cup of noodles, like Mr. Noodles. I had um, vegan mac and cheese from a box. I had, you know, that sort of thing. Hot dog, pierogies. That's what I've been eating lately. So now I actually made like a home cooked meal, kind of. Sort of. Kind of, sort of. <laughs> I mean, this is crackers. Is this a snack or a meal? I don't know. Mm. It's a meal. Anyway, thank you for hanging out with me today. Hongzhou. Jujubes. Hongzhou means jujube in Chinese. Or red date. Chinese red date. Um, in case you never knew. I mean, I've probably already said it before. My sunny day in. If it was boring, that's okay. I like boring. Boring is good. Boring means jama free, happy time. Mm. This was such a good idea. Okay, well that's it for this video. See you guys. Zaijian Hongzhou. Bye. Mwah!